In this video, we're going to cover how to properly and safely sling a traditional light pole. There are many different ways to sling a pole. However, this is how we sling a pole at light pole systems. The tools needed to sling a pole include a hook for the handhole, a strap to hold the hook in place, a clevis for the hook, and an assortment of straps. We recommend being prepared with three short straps and two long straps. The first step to slinging a pole is to lay out your light pole on the ground and install any fixtures or accessories needed. When laying out your pole, it is best to position the pole in a location that is easy for the crane to reach and clear of any obstacles if possible, such as trees and telephone or power lines. Connect your handhole hook into the opening of the handhole, ensuring that any wires are out of the way and are not getting pinched. You can use a rag or piece of cardboard to prevent the hook from scratching the pole. Next, secure a strap or bungee around the pole and hook to prevent the hook from falling out. This step is crucial. If the hook falls out of the handhole opening, the pole will fall and could cause serious injuries and damages. Next, lay out your straps along the pole to determine the proper length you will need. The main strap should be long enough to keep the Y, or point of connection to the crane, above the balance point or halfway point. We want to lift the pole from a point between the top of the pole and the midpoint of the pole so that the bottom of the pole hangs towards the ground. It is very important that you never lift the pole from the fixtures. The fixtures are not strong enough to lift the entire weight of the pole and may break. Once you have determined your main strap length, you can attach your Y strap by wrapping it around the pole and sliding both ends through the loop of the main strap. From there, connect both ends of the Y strap to the crane. If you need more length, you can connect another strap to the ends of the Y strap. You would do this if you needed to prevent a light pole from hitting the boom or load line. Using this sling method allows you to set a pole that is taller than your equipment. Now that your straps are set up, you can begin to lift the pole with the crane. We recommend a secondary technician handle the bottom of the pole to control any swinging. If you are operating solo, be sure to rotate the crane as you lift to prevent dragging the light pole on the ground. A dolly or padding can be used in this scenario. As the pole rises, the secondary technician can walk the pole towards the foundation and into a vertical position. Before lowering the pole onto the anchor bolts, feed the wires up through the pole base. Now that your wires are clear and the pole is lined up, lower the pole onto the anchor bolts. Be sure to install your washers and anchor nuts right away to secure the pole before releasing tension from the crane. The recommended torque for anchor bolts is snug fit plus one third turn of the nut. Snug is tight contact between the top and bottom washers. This can be a few hits with a large impact gun or the full force of an iron worker with a standard wrench. Once your pole is secure, you can release tension on the crane and the straps will lower onto the ground where they can be removed from the pole. For more information, give us a call at 714-786-8983 or check us out online at lightpolesystems.com. Light Pole Systems, specializing in light pole solutions.